Today I have got something fancy for you. This. It's a spoon. It's a spoon from the northwest coast, so from Alaska. It's old, maybe from the 1920s or so, something around that. It's made of horn of the bighorn sheep and inlaid with mother of pearl and the ace here. You see some animals, some, um, I don't know, long, long bird, long um, peaked bird. And um, you see also here maybe a wolf or something, and maybe this is a bear, it could be a bear. So, yeah, these spoons were not used normally. They were nothing, not, not the normal cutlery that was used for every day. Um, but what were they made for? They were used among potlatches and among feasts of the northwest coast. What does that mean? First of all, these people leave, uh, live in large houses um, made of wood. They, they live on the coastline and these houses go with their front to the ocean. Why? Because in the back there are mountains and these people when they traveled they came and also hunted. They hunted on the ocean the Pacific Ocean and um, they had to move with boats so the point was when they were moving and um, they were traveling via boat and what they did did they see in when they when they looked the villages at the coastline they had seen something like this this is these are totem poles and these totem poles stood in front of houses wooden horses and um, these totem poles um, are telling stories and are telling who's living there a house number if you want to see it this way so but these house numbers in this case totem poles told many stories who is this what are what what are, are his animals and his family animals and so on some of these totem poles, they had a hat. There's a figurine on top and this, it's wearing a hat. And on this hat, you see small rings on top. And these rings are standing for how many potlatches, how many giveaway events this guy who's living there had done. So inside of these houses, I will also some put some some links and some other videos down in this description when you want to see it a little bit better. So, in original and in, with sound and with songs, this is how it looked in within these houses. You also see a house here with these totem poles, in front of these house numbers, and inside was in the middle of fire. And these were really large houses made of cedar trees. So. Um, yeah, but we are with our spoon. So, when these people put up a totem pole, for example, or had a family event, something to announce to the community and to the villages around. So they invited the people from the other villages. They came over with their boats. They were singing together and dancing together. And... Um, they did a potlatch. It's something um, like when you have people who are looking for and who can say, hey, they did it and they, they, he is, has now this name or they erected now this uh, totem pole. It's nothing that was done in silence, but everybody had to know it. So all were invited to a potlatch. And this, by the way, these potlatches were forbidden when uh, Alaska came to uh, America. And um, because these potlatches had grown so big that they sometimes ruined the families, or the white people thought this. Um, the, the families who did, a pot, they, they, who did potlatches, they had to collect and to buy a lot of things blankets and even silver work, silver bracelets, 
um, whatever they could give, give away to these people who came to visit them and to um, help to erect the, the, the totem pole or whatever. So, and even in this case, spoons like this were made because um, these potlatches were always included always a feast so they did a little bit, a big party and we they had give, to give out a lot of food a lot of everybody had to be well fed and nobody should stay hungry in these occasions so they made large bowls they, they cooked the fish and whatever and put inside these really extremely very beautiful carved bowls and so and so on and to the guests they also gave ladles or spoons like this with all these carvings and so on these were not used in a in a daily use but they were used for especially these giveaways they were presents they were gifts and you even have on the plains material you have cups metal cups that were quilled around over the top you cannot wash these these quilled cups but that was not important because it was just showing um, the craft work and the wealth of the guy who give them away gave them away so um, this is also something that is different to a white society because in a white society for us um, it's important or it's wow somebody is famous when he has his Ferrari and when he has a large a large home and whatever and uh, dress in, in important and, and expensive clothing and whatever but for these Native Americans in the old days it was much more important to help others and to look for the others because these people were um, much more well seen in their communities uh, when they looked for another one who was not as fortunate as them so you had a higher rank in your society when you gave items away like ladles like this one this one was maybe made a little bit later for tourist trade because we have also pictures, postcards, whatever, where native Northwest Coast women sitting on uh, the shore and uh, selling their items, their baskets and whatever to customers that were tourists, for example, in the 1920s and so on. And then items like this were also sent. Even today, there's a lot of craft work like for example a uh, mask like like this hawk, hawk mask um, that is sold in galleries and so on because the um, craft workers have to make a living also and they work for their own ceremonies but they also work for sale and for um, I would not say tourist consumption is a little hard but there are a lot of, of, of collectors outside, outside for this artwork and these dances with these, for example, hawk masks were also shown at these potlatches. I will put some links below where you can have a look and a feeling for what happens on so events and how impressive they are still today.